Hey everybody, Jed here with Skookum Arts, and today I wanted to show you a little uh, script I've made for um, creating cables and wires in our game. So Unity actually does have a, um, a tool or a script that, um, that you can use to create uh, lines and, and cables and whatnot, and I'll show you that really quick. Um, it's actually pretty cool. It's called the, uh, the Line Renderer. And we were actually using this for a while, and uh, it has it has an array of uh, points that you can you can define, and then based off of those points, it creates a line. Uh, but there, there's a couple problems with this for our particular scenario, and that is that it's actually a billboard. So let me just create a third point. So it's a it's a billboard, and so what happens is it automatically it automatically orients the uh, the the individual quads in this in this line to the camera and so as you're rotating around depending on the camera's angle you can get like these little weird scenarios where where it has to switch has to flip the uh, the lines and because our camera swoops around so much um, you end up seeing this that that snapping, and one one of the other reasons is that uh, because this is dynamic and this is regenerated based off of the camera's movement, uh, this can't this can't really be baked. You can you can have this um, generate um, UV data for real time lights, but it's not really practical for what we need because our cables don't actually have to move, the wires don't have to move, so. It's, it's a little silly for us to, to be generating this extra stuff for, for the real-time lights because most of our game is is actually baked. So it, this is great for a lot of scenarios, but we ended up coming up with another little solution here, which is this script that I've made that automatically generates a 3D mesh based off of points. And then the cool thing about this is because it's 3D, it doesn't have to do any of that weird billboard snapping. And then it also can be saved to an OBJ. And then it's basically like any other object in the scene. It's just a mesh with UVs, and then it can be baked along with everything else. So what you can do is I have a way that you can go in here and edit the line. So once you hit edit, then I automatically place these little selectable um, buttons at every single point and once you click them it draws well it, it centers the camera on the point and then it draws this uh, this gizmo that you can get in here and you can individually tweak each point on the line and once it uh, once the uh, script determines that that a point has been changed it automatically updates the line to reflect the change and you can you can add more points. You can place them however you want. And then you can also change the number of segments that that are on the point. So you can basically up the resolution of the line. So I could do it like four points or six points, and so that the line gets nicer looking. It has, it's more round. You can also adjust the the radius of the line, so you can make it a lot bigger. Um, and then you can you can also adjust the, the radio offset. So this basically just spins the the individual like like rings at each point. It spins them. So depending on like this the seam of the line, you might want to rotate it to like hide the seam. And so once you've changed, once you've uh, edited the the row power you want, then you can exit this, and then you can go in here. I've made a little save button. Once you hit the save button, it, it uh, saves the mesh to an OBJ with a unique name. Because um, right right now, the mesh is actually just, um, it's kind of like, a, it's just an instance within the scene. So you want to save it. And then once it's saved, then it automatically assigns that OBJ's mesh to this object. And then you can click on the mesh and you can see that it's saved here in the scene. So from here, it's it's basically done. Uh, this mesh is saved. You could open this up in Blender and edit it however you want. 
we can also assign materials to this. So let me find a good material. So whenever the cable is generated, it automatically generates the UVs necessary to apply a material. And what it does is it actually takes the texture or the UVs and it evenly wraps it around the circumference of the cable. And then at that point, then it just starts repeating upward. The UVs just repeat along the length of the cable. So if I were to go in here and to change the, the radius, you'll see the UVs just automatically scale properly with it. So there is some little weird oddities, like this rope script is not, is definitely not perfect. There's some weird like stretching that happens at, at certain uh, like bends, at the sharp bends and whatnot, but um, it's definitely, it'll definitely suffice for the kind of things that we're doing. Yeah, so that's it. Um, this is the, the tool we've created. Uh, Unity is actually really, really good at, uh, at supporting uh, tool creation. Um, pretty much everything in Unity, um, all of their tools that, they, that they've made internally um, were made the same way that you can make it. Like all, all the things that they, they use you actually have access to um, that I'm aware of. So like this uh, lighting explorer window that was created not too long ago, um, you could totally recreate this uh, just with uh, editor scripts. So yeah, I'll probably link down in the description um, the the scripting reference for the editor tools, um, and it, it allows you to do fancy stuff like like drawing these points in the um, in the scene and everything. So yeah, I hope you found this interesting. Definitely, if you have any questions or anything, leave them down in the comments. And if you like our game and you like what we're doing, definitely follow us on our social medias and wishlist our game on Steam. Thank you.